Now, before moving any further and writing any more code, what I wanna do is I wanna actually save these requests because right now they're just kind of stored in memory. If we close out Postman, it'll still remember it, but what we can do is we can create a collection. So here I'm gonna select create collection and I'm gonna give this a name. So I'm just gonna name this after my project. So I can call this, you know, fast API course, or, you know, since this is a social media app, we can call it whatever we would call it. I'm just gonna call it fast API course. We'll save that. And then what I wanna do is I wanna save these two requests so that I don't have to remember this in case they accidentally get deleted. So I'll hit save, save as. We'll save it and then um, you can give it any name. So this is going to be, um, I forget, this is the get request. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call this get posts. I'm gonna store it inside this collection. Right? And so now within this collection, you can see this request is stored in there. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the post request. So this is for creating posts. So we'll do save as again. I'm gonna say uh, create post. And then it's already remembers the most recent uh, collection, but go ahead and select the collection if it didn't remember that. And then we'll hit save. And so now they're both saved in here and we can easily bring these up anytime, even if we close out all of our requests. So I closed everything out you can bring that right back up. It's gonna remember everything. And then same thing with the post request. If I go to the body, it even remembers the fields. So Postman, one of my favorite tools uh, when it comes to working with APIs. And you know, as this course goes along, you're going to continue to learn more and more things about Postman.